Welcome in everybody. Today we are taking a deep dive into the world of EVs and we're going to try to debunk some of the myths that maybe you've heard about electric vehicles. I'm here with James Cunningham. Thanks for joining me, James. Glad to be here. Now our first thing we want to talk about, we want to debunk the myth of maintenance. For an electric vehicle, is the maintenance any harder or any easier than just a regular uh, vehicle? Well, first things first, let's debunk the elephant in the room. Um, first things first about these cars, they have they take less maintenance because they don't require oil changes, the typical maintenance thing that everybody right. knows about. Um, EVs are more simpler, but there's also other things about charging and stuff like that as well. Right, so there's many things that um, instead of a regular car, you just stop by, fill up some gas. Um, the maintenance on these, you've got different types of batteries, um, different type of operating systems. They have different things that can go wrong. So it's imperative, I would say, that you are as diligent with your maintenance of an EV as you are with a regular car, right? Oh, yeah. Any type of vehicle, you want to make sure that you have maintenance done to it at all times so that it'll last longer. So there are, it's, it's kind of the same thing, but their EVs just require a different type of maintenance. And when you buy a new car, whether it be a regular uh, gasoline powered or an electric car, mm -hmm. you get your regularly scheduled maintenance. You guys at the dealership educate the customer through the service department right. and the sale. Uh, you educate them as to what the proper maintenance timelines and things like that. So you've really taken all the guesswork out of it, correct? Correct, correct. All the guesswork is already taken out when you do your purchase here at uh, Werner Hyundai and you just kind of go from there. Um, I know when we talk about the maintenance, we refer to it as the elephant in the room. Mm -hmm. There's actually two elephants in the room. Correct. Charging. A lot of folks are worried about electric vehicles, and they're worried about being stranded where they can't get to a charging port. Correct. How do the EVs make it easy for a customer to find out where to charge at? Well, the vehicles and the infotainment screen actually lets you know where the charging stations are. So yeah. you don't have to worry about that. It'll actually lead you to the nearest charging station okay. and you can go from there. So it really, it isn't as hard as people think it is. And James, with that infotainment system, mm -hmm. you say, if you're driving around, just let's do a scenario here. Okay. I'm driving through somewhat you know, de less densely populated area. I'm worried about my next charger. Mm -hmm. All I have to do is simply look down at my screen mm -hmm. on the dashboard and it tells me right where to go. That would be correct. Wow. Yeah. It's pretty awesome. See, it's like we just debunked that entire myth about EVs. Right. right. Well, electric vehicles, they're definitely to some people part of uh, a futuristic landscape, but they're actually ready right now. They're here. In fact, James, um, we've seen news stories that the government wants to make everything electric by like 2035. That'd be correct. Do you think that's something that's possible? I think so. I really believe so with the government making these different changes. There's so many different uh, mandatory things that will be coming up in the future. I think it'll be fine. Well, I think it's going to take a lot of work with the um, the infrastructure. There's going to be a lot of work needs to be done for that for uh, to improve the availability of the charging and things like that. Mm -hmm. But it just keeps getting better every day. They keep adding new stations. They keep adding technology. And I think it's uh, it's probably going to be the wave of the future. It is definitely the wave of the future with with uh, gas going away, going to electric. So I think it'll be a nice change, something different. Uh, a lot of people aren't used to this just yet. Right. But with everything in life, it's called, it comes with change. Yeah, you so got to adapt to change. That's right. Like, definitely is going to be a part of the future landscape. Uh, now, if somebody wants to get into uh, maybe one of the e the Ionic 6s, say, mm -hmm. I've test driven one of those. Mm -hmm. Wow, what an incredible car right. it is. Yeah. It's really easy to get into an EV right now, isn't it? Yeah, we have a deal going right now. If you get at least $3,000 and $360 a month for the Ionic 6. So it's 360 a month for an EV? Correct. Ride the wave of the future. Ride the wave of the future. If you want to get in on an EV, you want to test drive one, you want to talk to somebody about one, super easy to do. Just come by 252 Capital Circle Southwest. That's WernerHyundai.com online if you want to shop there. Or just give them a call, 850-575-1000. We'll be glad to have you. Thank you.
Thank you.